fucked up on today. You chose violence. I chose yeah, violence. Man. I had a month without being here, nigga. Violence is the only thing I know right now. I chose <laughs> violence when you woke up this morning. <laughs> the only thing I know right now, baby boy. You know what I'm saying? But so just, what's up? What's just up? to start this, just to start all, this all song, them keychains um, on your mic. Yeah, Mad vibes. Um, keychains. and and the hookah tips. The hookah on the, the hookah tips is crazy on the lanyards. Jesus and the, Christ. And sleeping, sleeping on these hoes. The, the, the sleeping the mask. Tanjiro sleeping here. mask is weird, though. <laughs> that is what's weird. <laughs> that's, that's, that's Out of everything weird. he had, that's the weirdest thing he has. Because when you, you, know when why you, you sleep, why you want to be Tanjiro, though? You sleep. Because if Tanjiro bitches, is like if the bitches second most... try me in my sleep, I'll just do the water breathing on their ass. You know what I'm saying? Mm. <laughs> You know what I'm remember, if you, you remember the movie, oh, that's, that's why you always keep a full glass mm. of water next to your bed at night, shut right? The, that's what. The, shut the, that's what wait, how would you know? You be there when he's sleeping? Don't tell him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, <"What?" laughs> don't tell him. I, I... <laughs> so I wanted to start this off because these niggas is being foolish right now. Oh, I wanted gosh. to start it off just you know really quickly. Um, there was an interview between Kevin Hart and Jay Z. And uh, Jay Z or Kevin Hart asked Jay Z, "Will you be dropping an album anytime soon?" And that just kind of like sparked a thought in my head on like, how do we feel about like our favorite rappers from like you know back in the day? Because I don't think it's back in the day, but two thousands is like twenty years ago. So any Jay Z song right. from back then is like is basically a throwback at this point. Right. So how do we feel about our rappers? Who were you know great in their heyday dropping albums today like uh, like Nas he recently got a Grammy finally got his first Grammy um, Eminem you know how I feel about Eminem I don't I think he should stop rapping um, oh. or Jay Z same thing I think Jay Z should just do features he shouldn't do be doing albums same thing with I wouldn't want to hear another Nas album either even though the last one the last two actually weren't that bad did I go back to them great. no. So I, this is why I want to have this conversation. How do I we think, feel? I think I think it's good that they make uh, they're making they're trying to make albums now. You know what I'm saying? Because it, it, they're talking about different shit now, shit that we have to look forward to. I guess not in the same scale as them. Like you know what I'm saying? Like he, we don't have to be paying the bills that they pay or buying the shit that they buy. But at the end of the day, me and John are fathers. He's a father. He probably is going to talk about fatherhood in, in this fucking album you know what i'm saying so we're gonna relate to that that way you're a black yeah. man he's probably gonna talk about the black experience in america you probably gonna relate to that shit i'm gonna relate to that shit because if they see me that walking down the street i've been saying this shit if they see me walking down the street they don't know how pica español you know what i'm saying <laughs> so i'm just saying i'm just saying people do that you're shit absolutely to me. right do people do that shit to me? <laughs> I'm I, I'm I'm actually glad that they're still making music and they're making it in hip hop because when they, when they started making music, everybody was like, "Oh no, nah, hip hop is like for delinquents and all that shit." Like this nigga's a fifty year old, he ain't a delinquent. Mm -hmm. This nigga's a millionaire now. What the fuck are you talking about now? Billionaire. You know what I'm saying? Bill, bi my bad. Billionaire now. You know what I'm saying? So With what are we talking about? What are we talking about? With Queen B in the side? Just letting you I, know. I, I think it, I think it always falls down to the, you know, the 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 fact of which act are we talking about? Like, how good is is the act? Right? Like, like I think a Jay Z project is always a phenomenal listen. Um, I thought the last two Nas projects were also very well. I did you go, go back, back to and, those for real. I I did go back to the Nas album quite a lot. Um, the thing is now the way my listening is set up is like, I, I do like playlist listening most of the time now, because it depends on what I'm doing, if I'm working or driving or, you know, anything like I, I kind of just want a mixture of things and those kind of pre-made playlists just come in handy for me. So that's most of what I'm listening to. And if it's not that, then I'm just going back and I'm re-listening to the Bad Bunny album. So if it's not Bad Bunny or a playlist, <laughs> this nigga, true Puerto I'm, Rican, son. I'm not. I'm not going back. That, right? You'd never believe it. But um, <laughs> you know, no uh, speak a lick of Spanish. Nope. True but I'm the hell of Puerto Rican for some odd reason. I I can't explain it. Titi, um, better go dope. Yes. <laughs> really, you can't explain it, nigga. You grew up in a Puerto Rican in in a, in a Puerto Rican household. What the fuck is you talking I, about? I, I, I can't did, explain it. I did, but I didn't. It's. 
Yes, all right. We're not gonna we're not getting into but, John's life story. Yeah, that's not important. I'm just saying that <laughs> it's not important right now. John is important. Okay, saying. I don't <laughs> want John to feel like I'm he's not. He saying. is important. It's just not important at this right moment. Now. Not right I, now. I appreciate at this time in that. life. Yes, because ah, because I, I, I know niggas think that I hate you, but you really my brother. Like I love you, bro. Like it's not. It's important. Okay, it means me. Yeah, <laughs> that's what it means. It means oh, shit. Wait. Just me. Wait, let, let, <laughs> let me let me let me acknowledge something. This is the uh-huh. first time I'm in the pod and Maggie's in his, his crib. Oh, uh, we only did one episode with him in the new. Oh, all right. yeah. This is the second up. episode I, of the new. I thought crib. I, mi- I, thought I missed. I thought I missed a lot. No, 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 no. We were gone for like two weeks and then we just, or three weeks, and then we came back last week. So it's been like almost a month since I've been in the new spot almost. It'll be a month next week. Oh, where's my applause? Hold up. Applause. Yeah, so it's uh, been a month in a new crib, or almost a month. It's been interesting. Um, I'm in a new city. I'm exploring different options, different things. Uh, definitely a bigger space. I got my own office area now. So it's like, you know, and once I get like a little bookcase or whatever, it's, I'm going to get my, all like my this. fucking mangas up. Yeah, and it's just going to start looking a lot better in my I'm background. Like, like this? It's going to be taller, though, because it has to yeah. fit in that corner. But yeah, soon shit is going to start looking, up, looking a lot nicer in here once mm-hmm. I can kind of get shit together. Um, but yeah, thank you, man. I really do appreciate it. Housewoman party coming soon once I can get some other shit in here, like Word. a dining room table and a, and a bed frame. Um, after that, niggas could definitely slide to the crib and we can chill and, you know, talk shit. Right. But right. Um, yeah, so how I feel, I already said it, but I'm going to say it again. I feel like I, I agree with uh, both of you. I think that it is good to hear these guys in their in their late age talk about the things that they go through at this point in life because that's what they've been doing. No, okay. Excuse me. That's what they've been that's what they've been doing their whole career, you know? Um and it's it's just do we need a whole album of that? I don't think so. so they like could drop like an EP or something. No, we just we could. I, I, he's, saying, if I he's saying he's saying like if they I'm, show up yeah, once in a while, that'd be all right. But it, it, on it, it wouldn't make sense level. though. It wouldn't make My, sense though because if if they do a feature, they have to do a feature with somebody that's contemporary with them, so it can make sense. No, that's not true. You gotta put okay. You gotta put Jay Z to do to do a a a, 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 ber- a verse about fatherhood with freaking Chief Keith or some shit. You know what I'm saying? Chief Keith, Chief Keith, he's a father. I, I don't know, bro. He's a father. Why can't they? Say, why can't they rap about fatherhood as, together? As, as much as, as he's much done as a song, he's done a song with an example of a new rapper. That was an example of what is now an older rapper. Right? Like that, yeah, that was. Yeah. When we was I don't in know about rap no more, bro. I, yeah, that, that I was stopped. when we was in I college. Are we not in college? No, I understand. I, I understand what you're saying. I, I I hear you. I just think you know who, if who Jay Z were to do all the lils. Everybody is little. All, now you sound like an old head. You sound nasty saying that shit. You sound really all nasty. The lols. You sound really nasty saying that shit. All, all the babies. Um, there's there's yeah, niggas all like the babies and all the little. <laughs> there's niggas like this Saba. There's uh, Chris Patrick who is actually from New Jersey. He's getting a lot of name recognition right now. Uh, there's another that's dude named Noah. That's not, that's not what there, he's asking. You know what he's asking. Who okay, the, the you know the exactly. What he's okay. Asking. Saba, I mean, okay, not Saba. Jid, yes. That was dead. He's no. been around for a minute already. Baby's been around for a minute too. Yes. All the babies been. All the babies. But Jid's been baby. around for a minute. But like so a minute. He's still one of them That's guys. Not a new act. That's not a new act. Oh. Okay, then you got me there. I don't know the new acts too. I don't be listening yeah. to rap like that. So unless you listen, it's like you, you was naming like guys that like rap. Rapper yes. niggas. He was, he like was you, talking nigga. about people that you just talk, get you were put talking about in the niggas like you. <laughs> you were talking about niggas like you, nigga. No, yeah. I'm talking about niggas he's that talking about, like, about, he's, he's asking about the dumb rap. That's still he's that's asking, oh, asking that's about, still that's still rap. It's still rap. I have to we didn't say it wasn't. It is still rap. We didn't it's say just it not it's not rap that I enjoy. So I'm going to make fun of it. But I'm not going to say it's not rap. Okay, I'm I'm just just, to, I, I, we know it's I'm rap. just I am just going to make fun of it because I personally don't enjoy it. That's it's, all. It sounds hilarious. That's why I don't listen to it. It sounds hilarious. All right, so let's move on um, because we actually have a real podcast to do, and we were trying to no, waste no. enough time. 
Oh, no, I guess I peace. It's like that. We 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 trying. To, I was trying to waste time for fucking Shawnee to get back on here, but hopefully he'll jump on before I do the intros, so I don't have to introduce his ass because that don't will really piss me him. off. Everybody know him. Fuck that nigga. What you, when he, <laughs> oh my god. Hey man, when I he, like when he it. In, when he comes I, in, I, just I, throw him into just throw him into the conversation. Like ask him a question, like immediately. Like, oh great! So now, so what now, you that think, you, now, now that you're here, Charlie, what do you what do you think about that? What are your opinions you... about it? He's gonna be like, what? <laughs> <laughs> great, perfect timing. I need your input. <laughs> yeah, that nigga. All right, all right. But yes, so I did want to say a couple of things before we start because we didn't mention this last week. And I'm not sure how to pronounce his name. So, John, you're going to have to help me on pr- the pronunciation of his name. Okay. Um, but first, I did want to quickly say an RIP to Ray Liotta. Uh, he is, if you ever watched like Goodfellas, he was the main character of the Goodfellas. He was in the B movie with Jerry uh, uh, Seinfeld. Um, and he's been in a bunch of mob movies and other movies. Uh, uh, an icon in the acting industry, and he recently just passed away, I think, last month. He's from my hometown. That's the only reason why I'm mentioning him, because I know he didn't really do anything in anime or video gaming. So, <laughs> But he's from my hometown. He's from New- Union, New Jersey. Um, and we had to, I just had to shout him out real quick. So R.I.P. Like Ray Good, Liotta. Goodfellas was my favorite like gangster movie. Bro, it's up there. Of all time. It's, I love, it's I love up that there. movie. I watch that shit every single time it's on TV. And I don't like watching movies on TV because they're one censored and two take seven hours long to watch. <laughs> because especially of a movie, because of a hundred freaking, commercials. especially because especially a movie like Goodfellas because the movie's long, long already. Now you throw commercials in there, we're gonna be there for like five hours. But no, that, uh, <laughs> good, Goodfellas is a really good movie. If you haven't checked it out, please go watch it. It's on, I think, Netflix right now. It is. So go and, watch and it. And he's also the the antagonist in Wild Hogs. Oh yeah. yes, with Martin yes. Lawrence. Yes, with Martin Lawrence and Tim <laughs> that Allen. Movie and but I John watched Travolta. it. That movie's hilarious. You're crazy. It's a bro. it's a so good funny. it's a good it's, bad movie. It's one it's of those funny. good it, bad it's, movies. It's, it's, it's bad because it needs to be bad in order to yes. be funny. It Tim, has to, any like, movie with Tim Allen is. But nah, that's, that movie that's, is that movie is funny. We, the movie was funny, but it was like again, it's not. So I don't think it's supposed to be. I think it's funny for all the wrong reasons. Let me say that. That, movie, that movie's me. funny. We 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 watch that one frequently in the shop. Yeah, good. The whole good, motorcycle uh, thing. It's fun. Yeah. Oh, uh, of course. But it's um, funny. But yeah, like we watch good, it for that. It's a good movie to like if you just you know not doing shit and throw that shit on. It's funny. But yes, yeah. R.I.P. Ray Liotta and John. Please help me out with the next one. Uh, with the last one. Sorry. So um, I just don't know how to pronounce his name. I do apologize because um, I don't even want to attempt. And I want to yeah, show so was, respect was, to this man it was because earlier, he created. Earlier it was earlier week. this month. Or last I thought it was earlier last week or something like uh, that. The the news uh, report came out on the 11th, so I'm not entirely sure. It says that he passed away on the 4th of July. So okay. on the on the 4th of July, uh, Kazuki Takahashi, which is the original creator of Yu-Gi-Oh, uh, had passed away at the age of 60. 60 years young. R.I.P. 60 years old. Um, R.I.P. to my man. You know what I'm saying? R. Which R. is, sure. which is, which is he. From what I'm reading, it looks like he might have died tragically. Also, what do you mean? Um, because they said that his body was discovered on Wednesday floating off the coast of Nago in Okinawa. Shit. So they found him in the water. So. Oh my God. He might have drowned, um, or he something might have happened, and then his body ended up in the water somehow, or somebody put him there. Some like they haven't released other uh, pieces of information, but that was how they discovered him deceased. They found him floating. I have, I have a, I have a, um, a feeling that they're not gonna release anything. Else. At least not for a while. If it's going to be yeah. an ongoing investigation, I think the, I think the the family's going to know, and then that's about it. Maybe. I mean, if we as Westerners find out information, you know, it'd be because the big media outlets in Japan are actually releasing that info. Yeah. Um, because we probably wouldn't be privy to some of that anyway. Like that news doesn't make its way over here. Mm-hmm. Um, but you know, it sounds like it could be a, a a tragic incident that happened to this creator. Um. You know, but like Mackie was saying, you know, RIP to a fantastic creator 
somebody that, um, you know, created a, a, an IP that um, I know all of us had exposure to as kids. That was our generation uh, that right. that was introduced to well, when we were, we were young. We were in grammar school um, playing these cards. You know, we were playing the card game. We were watching the anime. I remember playing the video games also. Um, playing the video yeah. games, playing the uh, the the games on PC. <laughs> I remember uh, when I used to be at NJCU, um, we would like go on. I forgot what the website was, but we would go on this website where we can play people with Yu-Gi-Oh cards. You can create your own deck and play mm-hmm. people around the world. Like this, this uh, they have this that on particular- the app now too. There's like, oh, really? a, like a dueling app, like a mobile app. Oh, yeah, that that's can, amazing. Yeah, and you could just duel other players around the world on your phone. That's, crazy, that's amazing. Bro. I got a friend yeah, of mine so, that plays that version too. So, you know, you know so yeah, funny? I want to. You know what's funny? Uh, it's like mm-hmm. how, how how creators that create the, these things like Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh! and Beyblade and all, the, all this stuff, right? They impact so many people and nobody actually knows them like that. You know what I'm saying? People yeah, do know, know them. Like you, you know, but I understand what you're saying. He, I'm, I'm he's saying, saying that they, they name, tend to be like reclusive individuals. Yeah, you don't like really you see really, them like, out there. Like you don't that. see Oda all the time on going and talking to people, right? He, he's I don't want to. I don't want exactly. I don't want to see him because if I see him, that means he's not writing. And if he ain't writing, that means we ain't getting shit. But that's what I'm trying to say. Like they they're giving us all their time, all their effort, all everything. Stop cracking Oda's whip. <laughs> All that shit. You better be writing. You better be writing. You know what I'm saying? Wait, who? Maybe. Somebody has their speaker on. I'm sorry, because I can hear myself in the feedback. Uh, maybe, maybe, because uh, I put the volume up on my headphones. Maybe you hear yourself in my headphones. My, okay. Um, I love but yeah, it. That, that I appreciate in it. itself is just like, oh shit. These niggas give their all for us or for our entertainment. Not for us, essentially, but for our entertainment. And look. Like when they pass away, all we could do is just be like, "Yo, rest in peace." You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it, it just feels weird because we this guy has impacted our lives since we were in like fifth grade. Yeah, since we yeah. were very young. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and we don't know this nigga. Yeah, you I was Yu Gi Oh for Halloween in the seventh grade, and we have uncles that never gave us a lollipop. <laughs> like, we don't give a fuck about our uncles, but we give a fuck this nigga passed away because, like, what's good with Yu Gi Oh now? Like, what's up? What are we gonna do? You know, I mean, I mean I'm, I haven't watched. I'm pretty I, sure the IP is owned by Konami, yeah. and Konami is gonna continue doing what they're doing with that IP. It's something that sells itself at this point. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But for the original creator, like you know, for somebody to create lore is difficult. But to create lore and then create an actual game on top of that, and then the, like have those the two concepts selling, kind of marry yeah. each other, like it, it's a great yeah. game. Yeah. Aside from like whatever lore he was able to come up with to create a, a story around a card game, how do you create a story around a Bro, unique what? card game? <clears throat> Excuse me, you know, like and, and something like that is is difficult to accomplish. Is is difficult to create? Um, I can't remember. Yeah, I know we're waiting for Shawnee to load up. That's why I'm just <laughs> continuing the talk. Um, right. You know, I'm I, taking I, him off until I, I see his face. Oh, Go ahead, man. continue. So. Um, <laughs> You know, like, I I think we should also just kind of highlight the fact that we don't see too many creators with the capability of doing something like that. How do you feel about that, Shawnee? Yeah, my rider was out, dog. (laughs) 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 My rider was out the whole time. So really, 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 really quick, Shawnee, before before we actually intro the pod for real, for real. Um, We were just... We got um, to. We were giving we were giving an RIP to uh, Kazuki Takahashi. Well, mm-hmm. we did Ray Liotta first, but then we did Kazuki. Yeah, after. but we're we're talking about Kazuki uh, Takahashi, the creator of Yu Gi Oh, who passed away. Mm-hmm. Um, and you know, I was just highlighting, um, you know, that he's a he's a creator that you know, like like and I, that created an IP that lives not only as an independent game within its own right, but has lore behind it also. And I said that mm-hmm. we don't, we haven't seen a creator be able to kind of pull something like that off because I can imagine coming up with lore to something to write about a, a card game could be a pretty difficult challenge. Like how do you make something like that fun and exciting and engaging and, um, you know, and interacting and dependent on this actual game 
that you can play in real life. Um, you know, I just I just think that something like that is is very creative and just something to admire and just for us to um, at least comment on, you know, his work in general. So I, mm. uh, did you have any thing to contribute to the Takahashi? Make it quick. Conversation. Oh, man. Shit was dope, bro. He he, said he was a revolution, the revolutionary, bro. <laughs> nah, like, man. Shit was dope. <laughs> <what I'm> saying, <laughs> yeah. <bro. laughs> revolutionary, yo. You're talking nah, about Pokemon, sure. like, it literally, it was Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh back then. Like, Pokemon cards was for first. Sure. Then you had Yu-Gi-Oh cards and that, like, there's nothing, like, granted, Pokemon had a resurgence in terms of popularity and card sales, but, like, Yu-Gi-Oh was more of a, I'd argue okay. that more, yeah, more more kids played Yu-Gi-Oh by the book <laughs> in duels versus, yes. like, in Pokemon cards was just more to collect. Yu-Gi-Oh was, yes. like, actual, like, Competitive. It's a skill. You gotta be I was, nice to play. I was, I was yeah. going to make that comment nice. that most people just wanted to collect Pokemon cards, but we played the game of you. How do you even play Pokemon? You could. You know what's funny is that like I, rules, I kind of know, but kind of don't know. And I bought I my daughter like a starter pack set for Pokemon cards, and it like teaches you. And I was just like, "What the fuck do I have to? I gotta put five cards where?" <laughs> uh, surprisingly. <laughs> I, I actually, wait, what? <laughs> I, actually, I actually, my first, um, when I got my Game Boy, my first Game Boy, my first game for it was, was the, the trading card, card game, the trading card game. So I learned how to play Pokemon and like the energies are actually, you have to attach them to the Pokemon. Yeah. You have the little damage counters. It was, a, it was a whole thing. Like I actually learned how to legitimately play Pokemon and they mm. had it set up. Like you had every, same way you do gym battles, you would go and, ba- and battle different card people. Yeah, every time somebody buys a Pokemon card like pack, they throw <laughs> they throw away the energy. Like, nobody need this shit. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but you guys, so it's a porn thing. You can't do shit without the energy. Facts. That's crazy. <laughs> but all right, R.I.P. Ray Liotta. Yeah, because we already twenty two minutes on. in. R.I.P. Ray Liotta. R.I.P. Uh, Kazuki. Sorry, Kazuki. Kazuki. Yo, what Takahashi? <laughs> Go with Shani. Shani. Bro. <laughs> Just let just let him back in when he gets back in. Just yeah, just go ahead and introduce the pod. Shawnee, what the fuck, bro? I want to introduce the pod, but you keep dropping out. Now I can't your hear mic you is off. anyway. Your mic is off, I nigga. I can't hear you, bro. Your mic is yeah. off, nigga. You're muted or your mic is off. <laughs> I couldn't see myself, so that's I was just like talking blind. <laughs> <laughs> that's just, yeah, that's yeah we couldn't see you either. We just thought you did that on purpose. No, <laughs> yeah, I thought, like you just. I thought Jack could see us, so he kept talking like he did. No, we Nobody saw. We could see. We can see you. Anyway, uh, this is all. Oh, this is no important. Anyway, listen. Uh-huh. All right, look. All right, you already uh, know what time it is. Uh-huh. What the fuck is going What's going on, people? It's your boy, Mackie OMO. I'm here with my good brothers. We got Crispin El Hu. Oh, man, I forgot how to say his name. It's been three weeks. El Hu, the the Black Kage in this motherfucker. We got the Black Kage in this motherfucker. We also got Platinum Shawnee back from his vacation. Motherfucker was in Jersey texting me, yo, bro, you you still in Union? No, nigga, I don't live in Union no more. Anyway... We got Platinum Shawnee in the motherfucking building. And we got the Razor Sharp Assassin with the Clipper and Johnny B. And we are the Paradise Podcast. Welcome to episode 50. We did it. We have 50. We have 50, my boy. This is episode 50. We have 50. That means we got 50 more to 100. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So. Yes. You already know how we usually start this off. We're going to go through this quickly, as quickly as possible, Do because it. we have yeah, we a have lot of a lot shit of that we don't have a lot of time, and we got shit to talk about because niggas is leaving at certain times and shit like that. So, we got to go. We're all leaving at the same time. We got to go. Let's yes. Go. So, anyway, uh, it's what you watch, what you believe, what you read, what you doing, <laughs> aka the recap. And I'll start because I always start. I have literally only been watching One Piece. I have started my One Piece journey. I am way past John. I'm like almost at the end of the the Fishman arc. Uh, a lot of shit that I'm just like, damn, that happened. Damn, that happened. Didn't happen. Anyway, but yeah, that's all I've been watching. I haven't been playing any video games. I've just been so busy um, with work and you know the move um, and reading. I haven't been reading anything because same thing. I just haven't gotten a chance to sit down and read something. 
Um, and what did I do this weekend? I went to a smorgasbord in Brooklyn this weekend. So yeah, that, that's all face. I really did. Yeah, they had some vegan spots out there too, which is really yeah. Cool. I, I keep getting like advertisements for like the vegan trucks that go to events like that. I just ain't going nowhere. <laughs> going all the way to Brooklyn on a Sunday is crazy. I, I can't lie to you. Um, and we tried to we tried to take we tried to take a Uber from from General Square up there. Every Uber we got was like, nah, I'm not going. All the way no, to Brooklyn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't. Even, I wouldn't even go. Like I'd be the one. Where? No, to Brooklyn. So we're moving on. Next? Um, next? Crispin, what you watch? What you what you do? Okay, so AKA recap. What I've been doing, I've just been doing a lot of work, shooting videos, shooting, doing photo shoot weddings and all this shit. So I was making money, you know what I'm saying? I was making money. That's, <laughs> that's why I wasn't here earlier. That's why I had a, like a month, month and a half without being in the pod. I was working. Okay. You was working. I played a little bit of Sword and Shield. That's why I haven't played Legends because I was trying to finish Sword and Shield first and then go okay. back to Legends, right? That's My okay. My brother finished Legends for me then. Wait, which time. one? Sword or Shield? Because uh, you can't play both. Unfortunately, when people say sword and shield. They just mean like that generation. So either game. In I there, need this for the, the notation. Same, it's the same game. I think I think it's the red nigga. The, short, the shield? shield. Shield. That's shield. OK, that's shield. I've been watching some Netflix anime. I do have to make a list, an episode of the of, uh, recommendation for five Netflix anime that had to do nothing with Shonen. The absolute no Shonen. Zero Shonen. OK, zero. So I'm watching hmm. Dora Dora, okay, which is it's okay. It's it's okay. It's okay. No, no, not I know Dora. which one you're talking Dora. about. Dora Dora, it, 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 she's annoying. That girl is annoying. Fat, okay? And then I'm also watching. <laughs> um, there's one that's all Lou, all Lou in the sea. That one's pretty nice. That one's pretty nice. And then I watched one that I forgot the name of. I had to forget the name, but I cried at the end of that motherfucker. So. Shout out to that one. It hit me. It hit me. That one's good. That one's good. And uh, that's it. That's what I. That's what I've been up to. You know what I'm saying? Sweet. All right. Perfect. John, what you watching? Play what you reading? What you doing? AKA <laughs> uh, just a whole lot of work. Um, I finished Arkham Asylum. I, Damn. I was able to finish Arkham Asylum. Yes. You just started that two weeks ago. I finished that's it. it. Wow, so good I finished shit. it. So I finished Arkham Asylum. I am making my way into Arkham City next. So I haven't like started it yet, but like I loaded it up. I'm ready to go for that one. And um, I think that's all I played video game wise. And I've been watching One Piece. I haven't got the chance to watch anything else. And I did finish listening to uh, Batman Unburied on Spotify. So I was telling, I was telling Mac, I don't know if you guys were around for a previous conversation. Uh, I just put it in my reading selection, but it's in like an audio book kind of thing. So it's like a 10 episode uh, Batman audio series that's exclusive to Spotify. It's called Batman Unburied and uh, Winston Duke is Batman. So he's um, M'Baku from Black Panther. <laughs> M'Baku. Yes, M'Baku. And, um, oh, so speaking he, of he, Black Panther, trailer came out. Sorry. Continue. Trailer? Yeah, for the new yeah. one. It just, oh, it just dro- it dropped a couple days ago. Didn't see that. Uh, I, I didn't get that news. You better make sure it's a real trailer. They might have got you. All right. Let me check. Continue. Um, Shawnee, you are muted, you fucking nigga. Oh, my God. Let him be. Um, so I, I, I listened to Batman Unburied. I highly recommend that. Um, and that's it. That's it for me. I'll get into the One Piece stuff later this episode. Okay. Interesting. Great. Shawnee, Interesting. what you watching for play? What you reading? What you doing? AKA the recap. I mean, I, I've been trying to like set a schedule for working home where I watch an hour of anime a day. So. I caught up on Bungo Straight Dogs, caught up on One Piece, caught up on Baruto, watch um Miss Marvel, <clears throat> um, finish Umbrella Academy season three, started the Bungles. Sorry, what was the first one? I'm, I'm trying to write Bungles, all these shit down. Bungo Straight Dogs. Bungo Straight Dogs, I got that. Which one? Season three. No, no, no. Keep keep going. Bungo Straight Dogs, One Piece. 
Boruto, <clears throat> uh, Miss Marvel. Um, didn't I get me think about it again? But yeah, so that was pretty much it. You oh, said Umbrella you said Academy. you said uh, Umbrella Academy and the boys, right? Yep. Okay. Well, on Venom Academy, I finished and I'm starting the boys now. Um, reading it's still season the season thing. season three of what? The Umbrella boys. Academy. No, yeah, season three. I haven't. Okay. I just started the first episode. And um, yeah, so that's it for that. Reading, I've just been reading My Hero, and One Piece comes back next week, thankfully. And playing has been the same thing as Samurai Warriors 5. And that's pretty much been it. It's just been my busy work. Okay, great. Work, 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 work. <laughs> no, right. I, I don't think anybody knows what the fuck she says there now. I, I don't know. She says, wang, 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 wang. See me again, wang, 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 wang. Na, 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 na. It's see me in my mind. Na, 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 uh, do, 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 do. uh we're gonna we're gonna go into the topic for yeah the day, so i was Sean. actually i was actually correct uh black panther 2 the wakanda forever first trailer dropped four days ago where did you see that like who posted it uh screen culture it's a youtube page so this wasn't this wasn't posted by ign or marvel or anything let like me that. let me look let me look because you, uh, you, you know the places that always release the trailers officially. It's got to be released by Marvel. They usually release it on Twitter and YouTube and everywhere. All right. And... All right. All right. All right. Let's actually talk about what we have to actually talk about. Forget what Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> all right. So, um, so uh, I think uh, Shawnee, Shawnee had uh, mentioned something today whenever he's ready to, you know, Start the topic. We can start. Uh, I don't want to start the pod and shit. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it, does, it, it, it doesn't have to be a, a huge discussion, but I, I, I understand what we're going to be discussing. Can you explain to everybody? Give us we, the information. What are we looking at today? So basically, um, damn. basically, one of my boys has sent me a message and we got into a conversation that... Um, can you say his name, John? Because I'm gonna butcher the shit out of it. Giancarlo Esposito. Giancarlo Esposito. Juan Carlos Esposito. <laughs> Thank you, John. Uh, basically, there was there was a rumor real going around about casting for the new X Men movie and okay. well, the new X Men potential movies, and that he was being eyed to be Professor Xavier. And then me and my homie got into a whole conversation about it in terms of well, you know, historically. Um, well, let's say historically, but mainline comics, Professor has always been bald, white, and old, and old, and whatnot. Um, they're making him to be Giancarlo now, and that's a change up from the storyline. You know, how people normally get upset when you change somebody's origin and whatnot when it's not directly affected. It's kind of like how Nick Fury, um, I think up until the ultimate timeline of marvel comics he was white and then when ultimate came when the ultimate comics came out he was switched over to a, a, bl- a black man that looked similar to samuel jackson so no, like he switched that... over to samuel jackson right yeah no he was, he was and paste genuinely it. switched over to look like samuel l jackson <laughs> i mean basically paste this nigga. they went yeah, no, and I think that, he owns, that's the reason I think why he Samuel owns Jackson, part, yeah, like no, he owns just, part of that character or something like that. N- no, it's just that was the agreement was that since they went ahead and they used his likeness without his permission, he had to be the one to play Nick Fury. And oh, yeah, for it. sure, yeah, so no, like that, that was the only nigga that could made. play it. It's the only guy that could play that. Nigga. Well, and nobody else, like <laughs> hello, but my, my point is to say <laughs> that, hello. Originally, he was white, and they made him yes. black. So in the in the movies, he's black. I did not know that though. That's but, crazy. Yes, but that's because a character like Fury, his race is inconsequential to his contributions to the and, to the story. And um, that's now the point here's of, here's yeah. here's the only point that I want to make. I think Shawnee was trying to make a point though. You Where, did you did you did you, did you make that, your point? That's or what or I'm trying to setting it up. Uh, that yeah, that's the setup. You stole basically. his point that he was trying to make. Yeah, were you trying to make a point first? Yeah, that's no, okay, that's the point that you made. 
That point that you made was his point that you stole. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. That's what I'm okay. So <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> Yeah, so, so basically, I can, I can, like I you said, like, I, I like the way John said it. Thank you for the assist. But basically that, that in a sense, that is not a bad change because there's nothing that ties it to it. But, you know, when people complain that, oh, you changed the race of the character, you're changing the origins and whatnot. It's, and then they try to always say, oh, what if we change a black character to be a white character? And they always go to, like, Black Panther or Luke Cage. You can't change them because their race is... It, it lines up with their story. If you change them... How change would it the look America? like a white person being a African king? Make you it make sense. You bunch of bumble cluts. Come on, son. That makes it, no sense. Exactly. They're just looking to make a point when they make comparisons. Yeah, it's, like it's a bad point, though. I think, yes, and I think we all point. we all can agree that that's yeah, like a really a, a yeah, really bad point. Absolutely. If, like it's the same thing when I don't know if everyone has seen, um, and this is like a little bit of tangent. I do apologize, but we never talked about this too, and this happened while we were away. But the uh, Miles Morales becoming Thor. I don't know if anybody saw that. Oh, that was in the, yeah. yeah, I I, I saw that. Remember. I don't remember if we spoke about that, but I saw a we lot didn't, of conversation about that. We didn't we didn't speak about it, but it was like the writer. <laughs> Bro, the, that was that was horrible. It was, was so bad. Like the most cringe of all oh. cringiest things I've ever seen it in was, my whole life. Basically, they was like, "Oh yeah, uh, he called uh, Asgard his hood," and it was uh, it was just really bad. I don't want to kind of get really into it, but yeah. it's like that, you know, like where um, changing a person's skin color only works if their skin color doesn't. Affect their story. Basically, it, affect it, their story. Their skin color or, or or their ethnicity or whatever is not the main part of their. Yeah, character. like, like if they like is. like if like, like if they were to change like the same thing with like the Little Mermaid and they they're talking about I think either one of the the Bailey sisters becoming a uh, Little Ariel, Mermaid. Yeah, mm-hmm. I, I don't think that Ariel like her being white has anything to do with her character. Like Doesn't. black people can live under the sea too. No, so it's, it's that, just like, because she was historically white. That's it. She just that, originally yeah. was released as a white girl, so they don't want to see that change. Or even the Black Annie, the same thing. Like with, even though that wasn't a good movie, um, it's the same thing. Like you know, what is the big deal of changing her color? Like her color had nothing to do with her being who she was in the movie. You understand? But anyway, yeah, continue, yeah. guys. So that's the point that I had. I was bringing to the table in, in terms of conversation because I don't know if you guys also knew. That Namor is going to be coming soon, and he's going to more than likely pop up. And um, I think it's damn near confirmed that he's popping Black, up. And no, yeah, forever. yeah, they've already. He's bro- not. He's not going to be white. They're changing him to be Aztec. So, like, they had there was some concept art that could have just been rumors um, of what the style would look like, and his outfit now actually has like. Um, like Mayan Aztec culture, all like design. They made him design. indigenous. Yeah, they made him indigenous exactly, and a lot of people got into an uproar about it. But historically really? speaking, in the comics, there was nothing that linked him to having to be white. That's just a product. Of How the they time. made him at the time? Exactly. Just, yeah, it's because a white time. person made him. They're gonna make them to look like themselves. But his whiteness had nothing to do with him as uh, yeah. uh, Neymar or whatever. So yeah. So, so the. the Okay, no, continue. Yeah. I thought we were done. Yeah, to bring it back to full circle, the point I had a, the conversation I had with my boy was like, how did he feel about them making essentially Professor X would be, well, Esposito's family or Spanish, but he's pretty much black. He's in Italian sense. and black. He's yeah. Italian oh, and black. Really? Sorry. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. okay, well, then he's black. He's Italian and black. He's yeah, black. so he's black. He's one of us. Yeah, no, he's no, black. He was in Do the Right Thing. He's black. It's fine. <laughs> Spike Lee gave him the seal of approval. <laughs> seal yeah. of- um, yeah, so, so that's so, that's the conversation. Like, how do you feel? How, how do you feel about that? Because I can see a lot of X Men fans getting upset because you know X Men is like bread and butter of old school Marvel stuff. So. Yes. Can I how do you us? feel about it personally? I, I want to say one thing before someone says something else. This I is wanted, not an argument. To say a point like five minutes ago. Yeah, to the face. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna just say this really quick. It's not a point. I'm gonna let you say your point, John. But I want to think. I'm I'm I think it's very funny how those same people. Who Shawnee just mentioned, the people who are going to get in an uproar with him changing color are the same people that will now uh, uh, make comparisons between uh, Professor X and Magneto and Malcolm X and uh, and Martin Luther King. That's all I wanted to say. Keep going. Go ahead. Go ahead, John. Now, those those are the re- actual inspirations for those characters. Um, but 
you know, like the, the X Men was something where you know the 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 conflict that birth the story behind the X-Men and how they fit into society was based out of the civil rights movement and a lot of the things that were happening in the sixties. And, um, you know, for these characters, you know, like my, like some of Magneto's backstory is that like, he's a Holocaust survivor. You know what I'm saying? Like there, there are certain things where we're already so far away from that time period in history that we can't keep some of these characters in their original renditions because it would just make them unrealistically old in the current Marvel story that we're telling Mm -hmm. or the target demographics that we're trying to sell to, right? Like if I'm a company that's thinking of new ways to introduce old characters, unfortunately we have to retcon some of these older s- stories in order for them to fit into you know the, the 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 current flow so i think changing somebody like professor x can work for the mcu because now we've already had all of these experiments with the multiverse now we know that different variants of the same person can look completely different in the multiverse because of tom holland <laughs> Andrew Garfield and Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man all existing in the MCU at one point because of the multiverse. So we know the same character can look like different people in different universes. So this universe's Charles Xavier could just be Giancarlo Esposito. Can I can I say something to rebut you even though I agree with you? Go right ahead. Oh, I would not say, but I just want to ask, what universe is the Marvel Cinematic Universe in? Isn't it 616? Supposedly, it's 616. It's not but supposed. That, they said it in the, the, the one, Multiverse of Madness. One, one character said it. Well, so just because sh- one... They her, named it 616. Strange, she, her, her universe named it that. Yeah, but she is a... I thought that was like... She, yeah, she's, she's an expert she's in the in the in universes and naming them. Like she's a literal expert in naming universes. So yes. if she's the one that confirms it, it's not like just some random dandum on the street named that no, shit. I it's get her. I get I get what you're saying. But yes. So I'm only saying that because I can understand how people would feel, right? That someone would they would change his nationality or the color of his skin, but does his whiteness have to do anything with his character? No. Who, Charles Xavier in this example? Yes. Well, John, let me piggy, let me jump in on that really quick. So mm-hmm. wait, even- wait, before we do this, before we do this, let me let me go let me go on Mackie real quick. I'm sorry, real quick. You said the, the name of the universe, right? We already saw one of our Charles Xavier that we know in Doctor Strange, right? We've seen that dude, right? Everybody's seen mm-hmm. him, right? Mm-hmm. So he's yeah. out of the picture. He got he's he got out. murked. We we already we already know we already seen him in the movie. We already seen him in another universe in the movie. We mm-hmm. never seen an, a Charles Xavier in the Marvel universe in our universe. We have seen yeah, their movie and, and, and our part of that. our MCU. So timeline. right now in our MCU timeline, they could create whoever the hell. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but it's not That's, gonna be. That, but it's not. No, but, I'm gonna I'm I'm interject on something that you're saying, right? Uh, Shawnee while still I, needs I, to bring up his point before you yeah, guys start volleyballing sure. back and forth. No, no, no. I'm gonna sure. let him speak, and then I'm gonna let Shawnee do it, and then I'm gonna come back for it. Yeah, yeah. but well, then that's, while, that's, while that's I, how y'all keep volleying back and forth, and then we never go nowhere. All right. I'm not gonna say what I was gonna say then. Just, just let me say what I'm saying, that you can say right <laughs> after. Go, go, go. <laughs> the only rebuttal I would have to that is. In in theory, going with your point that it is the universe is confirmed quote, quote to be six six right. Even if that's the case, this in the MCU six one six they have strayed away from certain comic counterparts. Oh For yeah, example, absolutely. In our six one six of MCU, theoretically, um, Uncle Ben Spidey's uncle should be alive in that universe, but in six one six of the MCU, Ben never exists. Because even in Spider Man, um, well, he, he exists. We just never saw him. I mean, well, theoretically, remember Peter doesn't. They don't have. He doesn't have. Uncle he doesn't. Ben. He doesn't have an Uncle Ben in that universe. Yeah, 
That is actually they true. never had an uncle. It was only Aunt May. Because when um Toby his uncle Ben survive, moment was Aunt May. Was, was Aunt, Aunt May, May dying? Yeah. 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 Mm. Okay. So that's that's when the that was the We're whole. That's different. when we first heard things. So that's what I'm trying to say. Like with that being said, they've already strayed away from the original timeline of the comics in terms of six one six. So again, I mean, I, I I agree with you. Like even Mordo, like in the comics, Mordo's not black, but mm-hmm. in but in the in six one six, even in the other universe, oh, the Hemdall. universe that he went to, and yeah, Heimdall, he's... yeah, Heimdall, yeah, Heimdall's not black either. So it's I, like but there was a lot of outrage for that. But again, we know how it goes. It's Idris Elba, nigga. Get the fuck over. He's the great. Shut the fuck up and get over it. This same thing with this guy, man. Um, John Carlo, allow it, bro. I'm not against it. I'm with you guys. I think it doesn't. I think they should. I agree with John. I think they should rec- recon it because one, having someone from the Holocaust play a major factor mm. now would make him like a well, that's very very mag- that's old, magneto old person. but they're yeah. the same Mag- age they're basically that, the same age yeah. Yeah. that's what i'm saying so like it just makes sense to kind of just Brett change it story. and and just make it a new they've done it before in the mcu and people have gotten upset and people have didn't and if the, i think at the end of the day if he comes in and he kills the role nobody's gonna give a fuck they, they changed a lot of stuff they changed thor they changed the hulk you know what I'm saying? Like Captain they Marvel, Iron they Man. they changed Captain Marvel too. Mm-hmm. You know, they they changed they changed Iron Man. They changed a lot of characters in general, right? Like, and and I and I think a lot of changes fit what Marvel and Disney are trying to do with the MCU and the stories that they're trying to tell. And I personally and then, don't see changing Charles Xavier to Giancarlo Esposito as as like a, oh my god, you're destroying this character because like like it's being mentioned. We did see that version of Charles Xavier that we're all familiar with. We saw, um, uh, what's his name? Even Patrick, if it was for Patrick five Stewart, minutes, you know, like we, 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 we saw him reprise his role. Um, you know, we got to exp- and, and we saw him in in the 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 nineties cartoon levitating mm-hmm. fucking yep. wheelchair that everybody yellow loved, is you know, all day you know? yeah. accurate. It, it, we it, actually you know, like, saw him in his accurate shit. You know, we what saw it, but we 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 know now that any variant of any of these characters at any moment can look different for any fucking reason under the sun, Just and there doesn't need an explanation for it because you know the only Disney's thing been smart I enough don't... to make it fit where now anything goes because of the multiverse. The only thing I don't like, the only argument again, I don't give a fuck. The only argument that's weak to me. Is saying that a variant can look different when we know that 616, at least for us, is the main universe. And every other universe is technically a variant of 616. So saying that people in the 616 universe can be variants, unless they say that this Professor X that came, came from a different universe and came over here, then I, I hear what you're saying. You but if they you say... Can't think of, you can't think that, about it like that because yeah. you haven't seen everybody in 616. See what I'm saying? Again, we I, already I say, see, okay. We can't say okay, six one six is the We main already universe. seen. We already seen the professor that we know in our head that was the professor in another universe. So we don't know how our professor looks. So we have. But again, yet. but uh, but uh, but again, right? We've seen other people from different universes that look exactly the same as they do in the six one six universe. But two, but Doctor, two, Doctor Strange. Be true. The only difference. I, I'm not. I'm, again. Again. I'm 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 hearing what you guys are saying, and I agree with you 100. percent But unfortunately, this is a podcast, so we have to have someone who has who has to be on the opposing side, so that yeah. we can actually have good content. So, but the only difference between the Doctor Strange was one had a ponytail, and then the other one was like the the yeah. Master of Death or whatever, and, and, and that's fucking playing with fucking music. Two things so, can be true because you had Captain Marvel, who was the best friend that became Captain Marvel instead. You yeah, had and not, and not um, you Captain. had Captain Carter, who be, it was Peggy who got the um. Peggy that got the serum versus um thing. So you can still have them be the same. If both things can't be true. We got Jonah. Got Jane, we got Jonah and Spidey. He's just an older yeah, version true. of one from the other one. It, it it can happen. It's just a matter of I get what they're saying. It's just like, yo, you we already got the 90s um Charles Xavier showing up, a combination of him. Essentially, if you think about it, they combined both of them. They combined um, Patrick Stewart from the X Men movies, the Fox X Men movies, and they combined the Professor Xavier from the X Men '90s comics because they mm-hmm. gave him the the yellow suit. So they took two of them, and combined them into one, one Charles Xavier. 
My yeah, only I think the I, fuck out of here. Yeah, <laughs> I think I think I think that's another thing, another reason why people may be upset. Is because we only got that nigga for like five minutes before Scarlet Witch that, erased that, him from the earth. That's I think that's strategic yeah, because I think realistically they can't it's get Pat, they can't get Patrick Stewart to do that role anymore. No, I don't think he's him. even no I don't he's even like think eighty he's something. He's eighty three. Not even that because his acting is still you know on on point. It, it's really just the fact that like when you play the same character for so long, you're really done. And if you see the MCU for what it is, you know that the MCU never fucking stops. That's something where, like, you know, you got to be, like, willing to keep getting those phone calls from from Disney and Marvel. Mm -hmm. And that's something where not every actor wants to keep reprising the same role. Like, even, even like, Chris Evans was just like, I'm I'm done with with Captain America. I'm done with that version of Captain America. I don't want to play that Captain America anymore. He said he would rather come back as the Human Torch. No. Than to come back as Captain America. That's just we don't need not that. Not that we want it. I didn't say that. That's that. That we we wanted. He said that that not again. He would come back as the Human Torch before he he would come back as Captain America. Side note: Which one was better? His human torch or, Michael or Michael B. B. Jordan? Michael B. Michael B. For sure. Yeah. Michael Who's B. better? Sure, Michael B. Yeah. For sure, bro. Them shows is both in the bin, my nigga. This is garbage. Yeah, both of them niggas is trash, but man. Michael B. For sure was better. I don't know. He, he had he had the he had the 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 this cocky the swag, comic book cocky yeah. you know thing. Who Chris? Over, Chris? Like, yeah, he had the original <laughs> characters. Yeah, like, yeah, the cocky, the cocky, the the hot head. Like Michael B. Flame on! <laughs> Fuck Ugh. that, yo. That nigga, yeah, that, here, bro. that character, yo, scrap that nigga. <laughs> scrap that bro, character. I don't even know why people want to bring the Fantastic Four back in. But that's like I, honestly, cool. such a huge role honestly they, they are they are big. very well known, and Doom plays a big factor in a lot of the comics. But it's Doom, a, but Doom was he was he was fighting other niggas like he fought Luke Cage, he fought Spider Man, like. Yeah, and we could get that, Doom without them. Like we, yes, I understand. Like, I understand. Doom I understand. Doom I understand. Of the same thing. That I fantastic. For. I understand. I understand. I've just never been a fan of like. I've never been a fan of the Fantastic Four. Just trash. Like to me, maybe mainstream media doesn't like the Fantastic Four. Comic heads. The thing is literally a wannabe Hulk, bro. Get this nigga out of here. Hey man. Hey man. He said it, and I agree. Get this nigga out of here. Hulk is that nigga, man. I Yo, agree. Don't get me started with my green dude. You know what I'm saying? Oh, man. Don't get me started. I agree. He's gang but, green over here. But I think, I think again. I, I, oh, I'm sorry, Sean. You wanted to say one oh, last thing. The only, the only thing I was gonna really, I, my only point that I really want to make aside was I don't have a problem with him being with Professor Xavier. But in my personal opinion, I think he should be Magneto. I feel like he would be the perfect like villain Magneto. Like he's Ooh. just everything about him. Like the dark Charles Nazi, Xavier. Charles Xavier is the villain. He's a villain. Charles Xavier is a villain. Continue. Sorry. Moving okay. on. This, anyway. Charles Xavier is a villain. We don't know this. How's he a villain? He's what? a bad guy. Explain it. Explain How? it. I'm not gonna explain give me the reason. You can't How? say it and not explain it. You can't. Yeah, you can't just be like everybody here asking you how sway. How he's a villain. How you know? Nigga. Wasn't wasn't he the Corvo, wasn't he the one? Wasn't he the one? I'm gonna tell you right now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you an example. I'm not gonna explain it to him because we have other things that we, we have. One last thing that we have to do, and to me, for me to explain this and argue with y'all niggas, that's just a write whole it, another, write it down as another so, topic for another right, day. Nigga. No, just so, explain it right now. That's it. So no, I'm not going to. But I'll give you an example. Right? Shit. Who gave? Who gave us? Uh, uh, what's his name? Cyclops. Who gave Cyclops his glasses? Wasn't it Scott? Uh, Charles? Mm-hmm. Yeah. It was Charles, right? Yeah. Right? Right? I, I you know in the comic, okay. you know in the comics, right? If he would have never had those glasses, he would have been able to tame his powers and he wouldn't need them and he would be able to turn them on and turn them off. Next topic. 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 Yo, so, so one last, one last thing, one last thing before we go to the last topic. I'm not talking. I did want to. I'm done. Definitely, definitely how minorities argue with each other. Definitely how. Let, whoa, 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 whoa. What was that supposed to mean, John? That this is how minorities it? argue. We are all minorities and we sure. argue. You just talk, why? You, you just say your point and then shut why? everybody else up. Like, oh, oh, yeah, nigga. In so fact, he, he, he assumed that was exclusive. 
I knew all these motherfuckers, man. Let's move. All right. Last thing I wanted to say, right? But right before John gets into his One Piece shit, I unmuted everybody, by the way. Last Go thing ahead. I wanted to say. What? Whoa, wow, wow. Wow. Thanks. Anyway. <laughs> Forget your way. I tried to I tried to look for tickets for that for the new Dragon Ball Z movie that's coming out. Dragon Ball Super, Super movie, excuse me. Super Hero. Super Hero is coming out. Guess what? It's not gonna be in New Jersey. No theater in New Jersey is holding this movie. They don't fuck so, with this, bro. You know why? No, bro, I was so I was so surprised. Two thousand three hundred you know theaters in the country are holding this movie. Yeah, and not bad. one of them. Is gonna be in New Jersey, so now I have to go all the way to Staten Island to watch this fucking movie. Because you know it's why? gonna be ass. You know why? 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 Because um, Toei decided not to have this one distributed by Fox. So the previous Dragon Ball stuff that would come out theatrically here was was distributed by just Fox, like straight up, like 20th Century Fox was distributing it. So they had them in more movie theaters. They had more promotion. They were doing a whole bunch of stuff. I guess they thought they could probably put butts in seats without them. 2,300 movie theaters, not one in New Jersey, and they're giving us sub and dub on the same day. August 19th is when the movie drops. I'm going to watch it just because I, I we have a podcast, so I have to watch it. Yeah. But I, I don't want to watch it. I get, I get, what, I I get didn't what you're like, saying. That's I, I wasn't... Yeah, I'm, I have to go all the way to Staten Island to watch this movie, bro. I'm sick. Is it in Staten so, Island Mall at least? I don't even know. It's at a it's at an AMC in Staten Island, something like that. Hopefully, it's in Staten Island Mall because since now you know you you're a, f- a fellow resident of the city. Uh, uh, it, I mean, I don't no, know. No, remind me. Like, nah. I don't know if you're gonna no. be driving, but no. if you no. are driving, it's I'm not driving. Just I don't have a car. The Bayonne Bridge. I don't have it's, a car. It's it's literally right over the Bayonne Bridge. You can get to Staten Island Mall probably faster than you can get to Montclair. From Jersey City, of course. Yeah. Of course. You have to go through mad shit. But anyway, that's all I really wanted to say, uh, that I have to go all the way to New York to watch this movie. So, yeah, as we usually do... Uh, yeah, I, I wasn't really happy about that at all. Like that Nah, really that sounds super whack and frustrating. Yeah, yeah. So, um, but yes. Uh, now, we are on... To the oh oh oh, oh, the oh I'm sorry I'm sorry I'm sorry I'm sorry before I do the drop because there is some information that I did want to say uh, before I'm sorry I'm sorry guys give me a second I should have I should have pulled this up beforehand uh do, 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 do. okay yes so um as we know right One Piece is on its final saga and the final okay. saga starts this week or next week. Shawnee, when did you say Sunday, that? Next week? Should be Sunday. This Sunday, right? This coming Sunday. Yeah, I'll, I'll so I just wanted to well. I just wanted to quickly read a message that Oda gave us for the last saga. He stated, I uh, hopefully I have the whole message. Hold on, let me make sure I have the whole message. Yeah, the Sunday whole comes message. up. According to uh, No, that's not it. I think it's this one. Uh okay. When I was a kid, I thought to myself, man, I would love to draw a manga with the most hype final stage. I wondered if I'm up to it. Now, we have only a tiny bit left of the Wano arc. The preparations are almost done. 25 years this took me, LOL. That said, it's fine if you're starting if you start reading from this point on. Because from this point on, it'll be the One Piece. The mysteries of this world, I'll be drawing all of them. It'll be interest, it'll be super interesting. Fasten your seatbelts and please stay with me for a little bit longer. Shout out to Oda one time. Shout out to Oda, Shout out to Oda one time. So ridiculous amount of dedication. Couple things I wanted to say about that message. Um he said that, you know, if you have never started watching One Piece, you can start from this point on and you'll still know what's going on in the background. That is that is some amazing That's writing. Cap. I can't lie. That's, That's cap. cap. <laughs> That's yo. That is cap. This, it's a, this is a cap. I mean, this no, is a I mean, perfect you, segue uh, into John shit, but that is Shawnee, super fucking the? cap. Freak, <laughs> bro. What? Let me speak. God damn it. Everybody <laughs> getting into God damn it. Y'all, my Dominic about to come out here, bro. I swear to God. Go ahead. Talk. 
Talk. I was okay. like, I ain't keeping you from talking. I don't know why I okay. didn't know that. <laughs> the reason I said this is Cap is like you might be able to like go into that like last uh, saga and like be like, okay, this nigga just traveled the whole seas, beat everybody, and he's the king of the pirates, whatever, right? Cool. You understand the end goal. Like you could get the end goal, but you're not going to feel the same. That's why I think it's Cap. You have to go through the whole shit. You have to go through the whole seas with the crew. You know what I'm saying? So you can understand why Sora is like that. Why Sanji's like this. Why does Chopper act like this? Why is Bro, you, Usopp- I'm going to interrupt you right here before so John can get his shit off. You know that One Piece is a flashback champion. Every single time they go flashback us to something. So you don't think no, that I, but during no, the next arc they're going to flashback? Huh? You don't the think whole they're going to flashback? <laughs> They're not gonna flash back to the first episode when Luffy got the the straw hat. You think they're not gonna show us that? That's not no, enough. They, they are, but it's not the whole the same, story bro. Listen, same. bro. Like John, he's John, saying okay. that you can watch it from now on, and you will and and you'll still enjoy it. I think what he's saying when he says that he says that if you start watching it from now on and you enjoy it, you're gonna want to go back and watch it again and from the beginning. But he said you understand huh. what's going on. No, is that what he said? He said. That that said, it's fine if you start reading from this point on, because from this point on, it'll be the One Piece. It'll be One Piece in parentheses. The so I, from what I gather, I think he means that like this. If you read from this point on, you're gonna understand what the One Piece is and focus on that story. You're not gonna get any of the build up. So yeah, like I don't think he's really. It doesn't sound like he's saying that, yo, like you're gonna understand what's going on. He's saying that, yo, you're gonna find out what the One Piece really is from this point on. Okay, I guess. I, I just, but I think that's kind of dumb. bro. Still you cat. can't do a thousand chapters, a thousand chapters, and say, oh, a thousand yeah, thousand plus, a thousand. Yeah, he's still thousand the goat and... for that though. He the goat because like... we've been, we've been waiting for this shit the whole time. Ah, and this nigga's like, you should have just waited, not read shit. Niggas have it. come, <laughs> been born, and <laughs> died before they learned about what the right. One Piece is. And then this That's nigga's crazy. like, oh, all that shit that you just read, that shit was all cap. I swear to God. <laughs> <laughs> it's from here on out that cow. Do you heard everything else is filling? <laughs> that shit was crazy. <laughs> this nigga the goat for that. Let's go, John. Double Luffy today. It's because you're in Impelled Down. We only watching Luffy at this point. Yeah, we only seeing Luffy. Wow. Oh! oh why, you, okay. why you click Zoro, bro? I didn't click nothing. Something just played by itself. They're all playing. Yo, bro, what's going on? Yeah. Mute them niggas. I had to, bro, shut, I had to shut it. I, I shut it off. It's okay. Okay. Right. I turned it off. All right. So all right. Today, today's review will be quick, but I'll explain why. All right? Doesn't mean that I've watched less. I'll explain everything to you. So, um, on the last episode, uh, we we uh, caught up on basically the the almost thirty ish episodes that I had seen from that point. I went through um, the 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 ending of the Sabbath Archipelago, uh, Kuma sending everybody on their merry fucking Ku- way. Kuma was it not Kuma? I thought you yeah, said Kuba. I was like, yeah, what? I heard Kuba too. Uh, well, I'm sorry. Um, I, I said Kuma. I'm sorry if it sounded like that. But we we saw we saw Kuma send everybody on their way, um, and Luffy landed in Amazon Lily. And then stupid question, uh, stupid question. How did you feel when 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 he sent everybody away? I mean, I I explained in the last podcast episode that um, right, it was interesting. <laughs> It was it was interesting because we've never seen um, Luffy not have control over yeah. a situation, and just to see him truly agonizing over something like that was different, you know. And you kind of feel a little anxiety watching him lose his shit for real. He usually always has things under control. He usually is always confident in himself, mm-hmm. and that's the first time that like he's really just freaking the fuck out. Um, so. I want to ask you one quick thing. And I, I, I know it's like yes. quick, but I it's feel okay. like that's one thing I, I I think that's one negative about catching up to One Piece so late because I was I was catching up and I already you already you know that they make it past that. But I feel yeah. like if you watch that in real time, bro, it would have been different. So- it would have hurt. It would have hurt. Like it would have been painful because like 
you know I thought the niggas was that? gone, bro. That's what I'm saying. Like, yo, like I that thought... should have been that would have ended the anime for me at that point if I was so I thought the niggas was gone, bro. <laughs> I'm trying to experience this as if I'm going through it live. So so from from the, the last episode that you guys might have been a part of, I was I was at um 398 and then I had made my way to episode 426. And then um right after 426 is a four part episode. Hello, cat. Is cat a, butt is a is a yep, all cat that is. cat butt all up in the screen. Look at all that, look at all that yes. He's like, hey. Hey, I'm just showing. I'm just showing my (laughs) ass. So, um, jerk. So, so there's a there's a four part rubbing on the mic. There's a there's a there's a four part, um, not necessarily filler, but a four part like uh, warm up to the movie that came out that year. Oh yes, it was yes. So the first movie that he can watch. The first movie. So just to really get the full experience instead of skipping the the quote unquote filler and then moving on to continue with Impel Down, I watched through those four filler episodes, like those four lead up episodes to the movie and then watched the film. So then I went immediately. I went immediately into Strong World. So um, that was an hour and 55 minutes. And man, did I feel it because I had to split that into two viewings. I had, to, I had to watch most of it. And then I was like, wow, there's still like 50 minutes left of this movie. I'm going to finish this movie tomorrow. Um, so I did. Uh, but it was it, it. I actually felt better for watching the four episodes that lead up to the movie and then watching the film. And then being able to kind of resume. Um, so I can understand, like, I guess, like, for pacing and stuff. Like, when the movie came out, it just came out, like, around when Luffy was already in Impel Down. Um, but I wanted to see it kind of like the way that the anime viewership would have been watching it originally. So they would have seen those four episodes. And then the movie would have came out that month or that next weekend or something like that. Then everybody would have seen the film and then the anime would have continued right after that. Like, like nothing happened, which it does. Um, Cause the next episode is when the anime introduces Jimbe to you. And um, so, so just the, the four part episode was basically Luffy and the gang before they get to the Sabbath archipelago um, end up, um, you know, on another adventure where, you know, they're fishing and then they get attacked by a giant beetle. And then, you know, the, the, they try to catch the giant beetle and they end up discovering an Island that's inhabited by people that all migrated to the grand line from the East blue. Mm -hmm. And, uh, they live on that Island and they all kind of know that the beetle lives there too. Nobody really bats an eyelash. They know the beetle is the guardian. He kind of protects the Island. And I'm sorry, John. I'm sorry. I don't think you gave us an episode where you are now. I, so, I, no, I, because I, I told you, like, I really just watched up to the film. Okay, when it comes never mind, to never the episode, continue, the main, continue, continue. For the, continue, for the main, continue what you're doing. I'm sorry. Okay. Continue what you're doing. I'm sorry. <laughs> I just wanted so, to make sure you didn't forget. No, no, no. If you want to know, I'm on 431. But that's Ooh, that's you. because I, I watched, like... The, the 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 episodes to the movie the movie he was on 426 like, now he's on 431 yeah. what let him be great bro he's had a good point nah. shut up because i saw the movies i spent Word. two hours of one piece yeah, watching like, one that's, movie that's literally like a good six seven episodes worth these are two movies i think this is making excuses please so anyway <laughs> oh, look at look at him getting all african dad on me look at your excuses <laughs> Yeah, oh, sure. Girl, yeah, over here giving me excuses. What? I don't. I don't want. I don't want to hear. I don't want to hear your logic. I don't. I don't want to hear what you have to say. <laughs> so, um. So. So. I. I. I appreciated watching the four part episodes. It, it. It gave us an opportunity to have uh, the Straw Hats kind of reacquaint themselves with uh, people from where they're from. You know, like remind the audience that they do care about where they come from and that they're proud to be from the East blue. Um, you know, Sanji admits that he was born in the North blue, but then was raised in the East blue. Um, so we still don't have like that earlier part of Sanji's backstory just yet. Um, 
So I, I know that that's, that's coming eventually too. So that, that those are like the little Oda breadcrumbs, you know, like, oh, oh so he wasn't born in the East Blue. Um, and, and, and yeah, okay, whatever. Hold it. Keep it to yourself. Anyway. Um, it's something you already so saw, a, though. So it's something a, you already saw. And now that you know that he's from the North Blue, I can tell you this. Just really quickly, I'm sorry I interrupt you. If Always. you remember during the Sky Pia arc, right? Mm-hmm. When, uh, what's his name? Nolan was telling the story about Nolan, right? Mm-hmm. Nolan is from the North Blue, where yeah. Sanji is from. The reason why Sanji was sitting away from them and wasn't watching the story is because he already knew the story. That's all I wanted to say. Continue. Gotcha. Okay. Cool detail. Anyway. Um... <laughs> So, so anyway. the the plot is basically that there's a group of pirates. <clears throat> there's a group of pirates that want to join a larger group of pirates, and um, in order for them to do that, their task was to capture the large beetle. So they head to the town. They try to capture the large beetle. They fucking shit up. Luffy doesn't like that because Luffy wants to fight the Beetle. Beetle doesn't want to be a pirate. Beetle has a relationship with a young girl who lost her dad, who was a Marine. So there's like a whole lot of like story and and, and stuff there, a whole lot of emotion. And um, you know, they uh, Luffy and the gang end up defeating the 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 Mexican looking pirates that came to uh to to Los capture the Beetle. Rancheros de Mexico. Yes, there there was the, the one the one guy that played the the Spanish guitar and and uh, and he he had he ate the net net fruit so he he and he could turn anything into a net anything he eats he can turn in, into a net um so there was just uh, stuff like that just shitting nets yeah and then he was just spinning them out I guess I don't know but he was uh he 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 was the net guy and um. So that so the the movie the movie basically takes us um, to that main pirate that those pirates were trying to join forces with, and um, you know we learned that the beetle was like a runaway from another large group of mutated animals that um, have all been a part of this pirate's uh, scheme. So this pirate is Shiki, I think, right? Is his name? Yeah, uh, the Golden Lion or something like that was his was his the uh, legendary pirate Shiki, the yeah. Golden Lion, the Golden Lion, um, and and he basically the story is that he he cut his own legs off to escape from his cell and impelled down, and uh, he basically walks around on two swords. And uh, and he's got a doctor on his ship who, when he walks around, his shoes fart. The clown. The clown. Yeah. The clown. His his shoes fart. Gonna be buggy ass nigga. So um, <laughs> you know, so, so the characters are funny. You know, they have like a whole dancing number and everything. I <clears throat> I like the animation for the film. Uh, the animation for the film was was fantastic. The character designs were really cool. The outfits were great. Um, I love the outfits at the end of the film where everybody's like dressed up in like their business casual or their <laughs> their formal attire and everybody's got a suit and everybody's wearing all black and oh, the they all show up with like hella around. guns and just started shooting off. And even Sermata was just like, where they get all these guns from? And I was like, I guess Frankie made them all. Like, I don't know. Like, <laughs> So, you know, it, it was... But it was cool. Like a lot of a lot of a lot of the 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 stuff that happened in the end was like pretty epic and everything. Um, I, I I enjoyed it, but I wasn't like a huge fan of the "Let's Rescue Nami Again" storyline um, of of Nami being forced to join you know enemy pirate crew because she's the best navigator that's ever been a navigator, and you know, and, and she's obviously oh, really pretty, so nobody wants to lose that that asset there you know and and <clears throat> luffy being upset that she 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 recorded on the dial like you guys will never beat shiki he's the best you know he was just like how could you say that i'm the shit you know like i, I, I felt all this time God. yeah I'm the he's like I, after I'm after all this time like i i, pun- I punched arlong in his fucked up nose like i did that to his nose you know what I'm saying? Like uh, Luffy, Luffy was yeah. Luffy was just like, bro, beat the shit out of Arlong, son. <laughs> like you was, you was gonna keep, you was gonna lose that deltoid if it wasn't for me. Factory. <laughs> he was done. 
shoulder everything but um the, the the movie the movie itself uh is cool i could have seen that being dragged out into a whole arc in and of itself i was also learning that um I don't know if if uh, if you told me that or somebody else told me that he got the glasses on. Look at um, my eyes straining. So, though. Good. So, um, like I said, <laughs> <laughs> continue, this is, please. This is, this is the uh, I don't know if it's the first and only, but the first movie that was actually written by Oda. I think it was the only one. So this movie was written by him. So I just it felt like the it. It felt canon. like it was. It, yeah, this like is the. I think this is the only one that's canon, besides like, of course, the movies about the arcs. This is the gotcha. only one that's canon, and the new I think. one that's gonna come out is canon too. Yeah. So the other ones are just like fun stories, just to be. Toy movies. Wrote that shit. Okay, yeah. cool. They're not bad movies, though. They're, They're not, not bad, bad movies. But but this you know this, this was this Tony. Was you're muted. I'm sorry. This this was it. This was interesting. It felt like Oda's writing. Um, I liked the characters. I liked everything being like up in the sky. That that devil fruit power was very interesting. Um, you know the animals that they met, the people that had the wings on their arms. That they were just they were like, "Why you guys have wings on your arms?" It was like, I guess because we want to fly away from here someday. And when all the islands were crashing down, all the people were just, just dead ass flying. So it was it was uh it felt very uh Oda ish to me. It it felt like a return to like the whimsicalness of Skypea. Um the action was good, the the animation for, for second gear was insane. He that that I felt like they they overdid it a little bit with like his pink aura. Because it's not really like an aura, it's just the fact that like his blood pressure is high. So it's like you know, like it's like, all right, it looks he pretty. Getting, he is getting really hot too. He's getting really hot, but yeah. the way they that's, animated that it in that movie, like in, 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 in the anime, it looks just fine. In the movie, oh, yeah, they, the gave, movie they, they gave him like everything. a super. But I think, yeah, I think, it. I think they do that in all the movies. Like, I don't know if, oh, this is another thing I saw, the Bob's Burgers movie. But I don't know if you saw the Bob's Burger. Like, if you watch Bob's Burgers, the regular show on Fox, like there's a certain shadow that they gave them for the movie. You understand, but I think that they just do that for movies. Like that's just, just something yeah, that just just for the edit. Yeah, yeah, give yeah. Little, add, 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 yeah, give give him a little, <coughs> give him a little sasson. You feel me? Like, They're trying you know, to justify you know I mean? the fact that you're paying twenty dollars to go see a movie. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Ooh, it's pretty. Yeah. So, oh shit! So, they animated so, it different. So that's 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 basically that's basically that. I thought the story worked very well. Um, it felt like Oda. The animation was great. Uh, it had some really good uh, high moments. Um, I felt like it, it utilized most of the characters pretty well in the story. Um, everybody had something to do for the most part, or everybody's specialty came into play. You know, like Chopper and 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 him noticing the disease that everybody was was dealing with. And Zoro paying attention to things that don't quite feel right, and you know, l- l- uh, Robin being the secretive little devil that she is and trying to get information out of the pirates at the banquet and stuff like that. Like there's just a lot of moments where, where straw hats, you know, they, they play to their strengths and they show the viewers how strong of a unit they really are. When all of them kind of put their talents together and just like seeing Luffy bust through the door with the fucking, the, the coat with the coat on his shoulders and everything. I was like, Oh, I told look, we get close. We get close to Luffy with a coat. <laughs> I know we're not that close to Luffy with a coat, but just all of your Luffy with a coat <laughs> comments, and I see Luffy in this movie with a coat. It was just, it was funny for me for that reason. I was like, ah, Luffy in the coat. There we go. Okay. Um, and that's so, it. So I'm gonna I'm gonna continue to talk about the anime stuff on the next episode because even though I did get my introduction to Jimbei, I kind of just want to watch a little bit more because I really didn't see much else after that episode where just him and ace are sitting in the cell together and then we're getting, yeah and we're getting all that exposition like that Fucking that was gossiping it. so i need i need i need to see more to give you guys better you know like the uh, conversations about that stuff you know and, and mr three being a part of the whole scenario with buggy and and um and luffy now and and you know there's there's a lot of moving parts 
and I, I need a little bit more in there in, in order to give you guys an update on the main story. But I decided to 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 do it the way the original viewership did it. I saw the four filler episodes that lead to the movie. I went ahead and I saw the movie. I appreciated it. I'm ready to jump back into the regular anime and give you guys my thoughts next week. Good, good. Okay. Perfect. Good. Yeah, no, I mean, you're at a good space, man. You're at a good space. Um, You've done well. Hurry you waited fuck it out. Up, I'm you, trying. Honestly, I would listen, man. I'll say this, right? It's been a year. Not even. It hasn't even been a year that you've been watching One Piece. And you're almost at 500 episodes. So you're halfway through with, with a year watching 10 episodes a week. So, I mean, you're you're at a good pace. By next year, you would have, like, been caught up, I would hope, if you keep on the same pace. Um, and, yeah, man, um, I'm happy that you're enjoying it. Strong World was a good movie. Uh, it's the first movie that you can watch. I mean, you can watch... You can, you can watch and Chopper. You can watch those. Don't count as movies. Like those don't count as movies. I'm talking about like actual every, full length features. Every, like, everything else is post time skip. I look at I look at the character designs and all the character designs are post time skip. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Cool. So I think yeah, once, you, once you hit time skip, I think you'll, you'll be okay to watch a good chunk of the movie. It's, it's yeah. so goddamn aggravating that they barely did shit for the first half of this entire story. It was just like all anime and manga. Like all the video games are post time skip. All of the fucking movies are post time skip. All of everything you can possibly enjoy is like, you know what I'm saying? Like post time skip. Like I feel like I've been watching I, I Dragon Ball this whole time and everybody's like, wait till you get to Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> and I'm just like, God damn, it's, I watched it, so much. Because things about to make a, the, Yeah, yeah. Because things about to make I a good think, point. I think it's because the popularity of. One Piece grew here and all over the world, except for and Japan. It was always big, but outside of Japan, it grew more after the time skip. So that's when they started making games and making movies, so they could sell more shit out here. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, you're you're probably a hundred percent correct with that I'm assessment. Think, it's just, but you don't I'm give a fuck. So, <laughs> I'm I'm just so frustrated because like I'm looking at shit and like the, I'm looking at the video games that that I could technically play. True. And even some of the shit, like 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 Pirate Warriors fucking two you, or Pirate you, Warriors, you like, can't touch. You can't, you can't touch. touch. You can't touch any of them. You well, here's yeah. you, here's the thing. You can, but you would have to you stop playing the game it. once you get to time skip. Like right and and, that, and I'm not I'm not doing that. I'm not I'm not going through all that. Like if I'm gonna play a game, I'm gonna play a game, and play if it. I can finish it, yeah. I finish it. Like it's, I'll tell you, I'll tell you right now. In order for you to play, because I hundred percented Pirate Warriors three. You can't play Pirate Warriors. Oh, right. Oh, three. three. Sorry, we were just playing four, four the other day. Yeah, you can't. You can't play. Wait, three. isn't 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 Dress Rosa in in yes. freaking part three? Yeah, three. like I know I'm mad yeah. far away from Dress Rosa, so there's no. Yeah. <laughs> you're there's, like there's no. no I'm no, mad no. far away. No, you're, you're like three hundred, four hundred cool. episodes away. He's far. He's for something. He's in for something. Yeah, no. Yeah, not that far. Like two hundred. Dress- episodes away. That's far. And then when is when is whole cake? No, because oh, whole, not, cake, nah, whole nah. cake is way nah. far. Bro. That's like eight hundred. Four hundred. Yeah. So then, so that, because I was I was looking at like World Seeker, also. Yeah. yeah. Can't play and that. yeah, and, and when I looked it up, like, <laughs> no, there's like Reddit. That. There's Reddits about it. They're like, oh, like it, it, at what point in the anime do I have to watch in order to be able to play like these games? And everybody said like whole cake. Like unless you finish whole cake, like you you can't really you can't play, play, that play that it. One. You can't you play can, it because I think if I'm not mistaken, I think Dress Rose is like six hundreds. Yeah. No, no, it is. I'm at is. I'm at five. I'm at five sixty something, and I'm in. The end of Fishman. Yeah. Once we Dress finish Fishman, the other forty, that the other forty yeah. is about to be fucking this shit. What's it called? Um, uh, that uh, shit. Punk Hazard. Yeah, shit. It's like forty episodes, and then you get the fuck out of there, and then boom. Yeah, Punk goes. Hazard was quick. Dress Rosa is not that far. Like. No, but that's what I'm saying. So like, you'll be at you'll you'll. It's like this. It's like the beginning, the late six hundred, early seven hundred. Because I want anyway, to play. Wrap it I want to play. Focus. I want to I want to play One Piece games, but everything is like ridiculously yeah. like old, or it's it's a it's ahead of the time skip, and I can't enjoy it. Like 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 you can enjoy this, it, like you're gonna find out the story, but it's like but that's not it, how I want to. That's not how yeah. I want to experience I, the story. I, I, I don't. No, I, I understand. 
I understand. You know, like like playing that was, those like, games know, is literally rewatching through, the anime. I can't lie. And and, that, and that's the thing is, I know how playing through an anime fighting game will retell you the story, but it's not really like the story that you want to see. Like it's super Man. watered down. I will say you this, know, like, bro. Pirate Warriors Four, it kind of tells you almost everything that happens. Of course, there's like little things that you don't find out, but if you play that shit through through, it'll literally tell you everything that goes up up until Dressrosa. Oh no, whole cake. Yeah, it goes up to, to whole cake. It goes up to yeah. whole cake. He wants to enjoy it though, but you can't even play Burning Blood because Burning Blood is um is up. Bro, to... like you Basically, know, you know what game? You know what Rose. game I could play? You know what you game gotta... I could play? I could play Romance Dawn for the Romance game. Romance Dawn. <laughs> That's what the fuck game. I can play. Yeah, just 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 That's honestly, crazy. get to once That's you get to whole cake. That's what the fuck I found. That's I was crazy, like, wow, bro. this is like the only game I could play. For Pirate yes. Warriors three, once you get to once you get to Dress Rosa, you're fine because Dress because in Pirate Warriors three, it's a video game anime um canon. So they they they, they pull a full metal alchemist with um Pirate Warriors three for Dress Rosa. So once you get there, you can just keep playing, but the story is going to deviate off completely and do its so own. It's not thing. it's not the anime ending. It's not a hundred because ending. Cause three came out before Dress Rosa was finished. Oh, okay. So they do like their own anime original ending. Gotcha. Ooh, I can't wait for you to get to that. Hey. When you get to the time skip, those commercial break drops are going to change. I'm going to change the ones that I have. Just so, okay. just so everybody else. But anyway, yeah. yep. Uh, I think you know, great pod, guys. I think that's it. Uh, Johnny, yes. on, let me hold on, 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 Hey, he, he was, was the guy. Yes. But anyway, um, anyway, Johnny B, take us out, please. Well, before you do that, let me just say oh. one thing. Sorry. Yes. San Diego no, Comic Con no. is this weekend. So there's DreamCon was last weekend. Oh, we should have talked to you. Next week will probably have to be a con episode because there's a lot of shit. So be aware that you're gonna get your Marvel. The Marvel movies are gonna get um mm-hmm. the Marvel. Going there, so we're gonna see, yeah. and there's gonna be a lot of announcements this weekend. So for a lot of stuff, yeah, you're right. Yeah, I forgot it, all about all that. Yeah, so I would say that somebody would take notes. Be. Someone take notes. Yeah. It's gonna be Shawnee if Shawnee's back from the. Oh, I'm the, gonna be. I'm gonna be watching my shit from DR. So, and I got like good guys talking about. It. I'll, I'll have all the notes what they talk. Are about. you gonna be back for next episode? I'll be back Tuesday, so Monday's a dub for me. I'll it's a that dub. Now. Unless you want to stream yeah. from DR, doubt it. <laughs> 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 it's like you were the con. <laughs> so then the 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 con episode can be in yeah the con episode will be the following because I need time to review and send them yeah and all that. that's that's fine that's cool no, 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 no. Does, doesn't doesn't hinder us at all well that is absolutely all the time that we have for this episode today and if you guys have made it all the way to the end of the podcast we love and appreciate you greatly yes because we do really really long episodes so if you made it all the way to this point and you're hearing me talk right now we're practically like best friends uh so make sure that you (laughs) make sure that you guys like this video subscribe to the youtube channel if you haven't already and share this link with friends and family who also share an interest in anime and video games if you are listening to this podcast you can listen to this podcast anywhere you like to listen to podcasts but you can listen to us on anchor and there is a unique way to donate to the podcast on anchor you can donate any amount you want and all of those proceeds will help us improve the quality of the podcast for you guys the viewership and the listenership make sure you guys are also following all of us individually all of our information and stuff is all there all the ads are there my ads there mackie's act is there everybody's handles are everywhere just follow us we're funny we talk about funny shit and we do funny things and it's all anime and it's all video games and it's all fun so join the fun join us in paradise we got more stuff coming and stick around Put the notifications like on. Crazy, you get sure. the bells. You get you get the, sure. you get to know when the episodes drop. They mm-hmm. drop once a week, mostly. Nigga. 
They drop once a week. No, they drop we once that. a week. We were just on vacation. We, we deserve it. We, we, drop, we, drop, we, we pod every week. We pod we every break. week. There's something Perfect. for you every week. So subscribe, hit the bell, all that good stuff, and we'll catch you guys on the next one. I'm out. <laughs>